Welcome back to CET Colors instructional web series on large format digital UV printers. Today we're going to walk you through how easy it is to go from roll printing to substrate printing and back on a hybrid printer. Gather your materials. You will need tape, a tape measure, scissors, a roll of printing paper, an empty printing paper core, and some form of rigid material, for example, coroplast. Load the roll material on the rear air core. Unscrew the air core locking screws and lift the air core off the air core mount. Thread the rear air core through the center of the roll of material. Then, replace the air core and screw the air core locking screws back in. Load an empty material roll core on the front air core using the same techniques. Unroll the material from the rear air core onto the printing surface and pull the material down to the front air core with the empty material roll core loaded onto it. Use tape to secure the material to the empty material roll core. Using a tape measure, make sure that the material is aligned and equidistant from the edge of the printing surface in both front and back. Turn on the suction and the UV lamps and prepare to print. Press the air core motor direction take up button for the front air core. Set the speed dial to 1. Go to the CET print controller and select the file that you want and print that file. Upon completion, turn off the suction. Then use a pair of scissors and cut after the end of the print. Advance the material to the front air core and use a piece of tape in order to secure the roll material. Now in order to retract the remaining material backwards onto the rear material core, press the rear air core motor direction take up button and the paper will begin to retract. Use a piece of tape to secure the roll material onto the rear material core. To remove the printed material from the front air core, unscrew the air core locking screws and lift the air core off of the air core mount with the roll of printed material on it. Slide the roll of printed material off the air core and replace the air core back onto the air core mount. You may want to go ahead and slide an empty material tube onto the air core at this point for later roll to roll printing. Screw the air core locking screws back in. Now prepare for rigid media printing. First, roll the hybrid tables into position in the front and back of the printer. Load the rigid media onto the rear table and use the zero base pointer guide in order to position the material at the zero point. Raise the zero base point guide. Now we will turn on the suction again and go to the CET print controller. In the CET print controller, select the desired print file. Confirm your headers and margins are correct. Print the file. Make sure to run the height detection prior to printing. As the rigid media prints, it will advance off the rear table and onto the front table. Once completed, you can pick up and place the completed print aside. Now, in order to transition back to roll printing, remove the tables and roll them away from the printer. Unroll the material from the rear air core onto the printing surface and pull the material down to the front air core. Use tape to secure the material to the front material core. Using a tape measure, Make sure that the material is aligned and equidistant from the edge of the printing surface in both the front and the back. Turn on the suction and the UV lamps and prepare to print. Go to the CET print controller and select your file that you want and print that file.
And that's how you properly go from roll printing to substrate printing and back on a hybrid CET color large format digital UV printer.